We are back live, my friends. Getting back to the Russia situation, it is extremely reckless to be massing nuclear weapons and military force and missile shootdown systems to stop a Russian counterattack on the borders with Russia. If our government was truly moral, truly supporting liberty worldwide, and trying to liberate Russia from some North Korean-style tyranny, it would still be something that should be up for debate for the public to decide if we wanted to risk nuclear war to free Russia. Russia, compared to the globalist, is not as mentally ill and insane and anti-human. Probably because they just went through 80 years, 80 plus years of globalist communism financed out of New York and London with the Bolshevik overthrow in 1917. The same banks that run the Federal Reserve publicly, JP Morgan, you name it, on record funded the Bolsheviks. Look it up. 25 million train of gold, Stalin sent into aid Lenin. Hundreds of thousands of people from England and the U.S. sent over as the Bolshevik army. The Bolshevik army was foreign Westerners who spoke Russian, who'd immigrated to the United States, who overthrew Russia. I mean, this is so insane, ladies and gentlemen. And by the way, the Russians, this is known by the Russians, and it's in Schultz and Eaton's books, and it's been written about. But they don't put it on Russian TV, because there's still a lot of old Russians and people that like communism and buy into it all and, 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 and buy the propaganda. Because Stalin did kind of double-cross that neocon group, and then they came back over here. But... The point is that the American people and the British people, the UK people, British at the time, uh, literally financed 50, 60 million Russians killed. Just like our government helped put Mao Zedong in. That's now declassified. What the John Burt Society said in the 50s, why they created the John Burt Society, was it was discovered. That And they said it for decades, and then it's been declassified now in the last decade. But they've been saying it since the 50s. It was declassified in 2004. That indeed, the CIA put Mao Zedong in power and double-crossed Chiang Kai-shek and killed U.S. personnel that had gone native OSS people who refused to aid the communists, and they lined up U.S., British, you name it, soldiers, and killed them. Our CIA. Because there were a bunch of military people that stayed behind and said, we are not going to turn this over to the communists. And you know what happened? They got killed. Just remember that. Because this is not our government that runs things, ladies and gentlemen. This is a criminal group. Look at the New York Times whitewashing it. CIA papers lend insight on China under Mao. And the New York Times, when Mao died, David Rockefeller wrote an op-ed piece literally worshiping him, saying, who can deny he did a great job and is a model for us? I mean, disgusting. Even before it was fully declassified, I remember in 1999, watching History Channel with the CIA section chief over Asia, And he was laughing about how they put Mao Zedong in and bragging on History Channel. And, and of course, I knew all the names. I'd read the John Birch publications. I knew all about it. John Birch is named after a guy that stayed behind who they killed. Tortured, of course, first. And it lets you know that you know, this has been known forever. And that's the only reason we knew about the New World Order plan in the 50s and 60s is because a bunch of people inside the CIA, inside the FBI, gave all their intel to Welsh, the, the man that spent his whole fortune trying to resist it, because they couldn't believe the level of treason. And I'm just digressing here. I just marvel at the fact that the people that own the Federal Reserve, the globalists, the big six mega banks, British royalty, you name it, funding it, would 
would overthrow Russia and put in a group of eugenicists, anti-family, anti-God exterminators and kill 50 plus million Russians, 10 million Ukrainians, millions of Poles, millions of others in Eastern Europe, a reign of hellish terror and social engineering, and that, and that the same globalist literally butchered China and have visited upon China 80 plus million dead, that's China's number, CIA says 65 million or 66 million. And of course, then you realize, oh my gosh, they want to do that here. They really will try that here. They really want to break America and re-educate us once and for all. And the only way they do that is starting a global war that they can also tie into domestic groups. And the only way to do that is to set off a nuke. And then type it off the signatures, the jacketing isotopes, fingerprint it and frame the Russians or the Iranians, and then tie it into domestic groups and launch a full bore takeover. And they really might go ahead and pull the trigger. Because let me tell you, they're going to lose if they don't. We have them. They think they're choking us, folks. We're like a giant boa constrictor that's got a little piglet wrapped up in it. And we're just starting to squeeze. And they're just starting to figure out that humanity wants to be free. It's just a natural instinct. It's not any organized, coordinated thing. It's just a mass, we don't want to be part of this. From factory workers to farmers to ranchers to school teachers to government agents, the power trip's wearing off, folks. People are really sitting there thinking about their families, thinking about their future, thinking about history, and, and really going ahead with all this. Where Homeland Security openly trains to take on gun owners, veterans, you name it. Obama's disapproval rating hits an all-time high. Look at this headline. Humans to be kept alive between life and death in first suspended animation trials. And they are able to do it with dogs and stuff already, folks. That sounds like, uh, what is the name of it? Ubik? I haven't read it in probably 15, 20 years. Uh, Philip K. Dick um, novel where they, where they freeze you, but, but keep your brain somewhat alive and then people can come and talk to you. You can live hundreds of years that way. Already got it. Now, you freeze somebody hard when the cells get um, thawed out, they burst. That's why meat doesn't taste good when it's been frozen. So that's the only problem they've got to get around, but they're getting close. So they bring you near death, you know, maybe a heartbeat a minute or so. And so 10 years is only like two weeks, and then they can keep you alive directly out of the mind of Philip K. Dick. By the way, I happen to know the inside baseball on Philip K. Dick, and I'm not at liberty to talk about it. Sure wish I could tell you about it. Let's just say a lot of interesting stuff was going on in the 60s in San Francisco. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't know why I learn all this stuff and get it directly from... I'm giving all this information that I'm not allowed to tell you. I always love that part. I could only tell you all the things I've been told, all the things I've learned. I just don't get why all these famous people tell me all this information. And then I'm not allowed to tell you. They just want me to know and confirm what I'm saying. And then these people let the media project who they are, who their husband was who their son was, who their daughter was, who their father was, when they could tell the world who they really were and what really happened, but they're scared, and they know how the media spins things and how it will attack them. But the good news is the liberty is here. The old system's going down. No one cares what it says anymore. So now it's time for all of you to go public. It's time for John Lennon's family to go public. It's time for the Philip K. Dick daughters to go public. It's time for all of you to start telling the world what you've been through. Instead, 
This has come out once, so I can say one part of it that's already public. You know Dick got visited repeatedly by the government asking how he knew all this stuff. I'm just going to leave it at that. More human than human. That's our goal here at Tyrell Corporation. And are you really the unteleported man? <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, ah, oh, the world, we're living in a science fiction phantasm, ladies and gentlemen. And, and, and we care about people like Ben Affleck or whatever his name is on Rachel Maddow with no viewers. And we're letting the globalists try to start a war with the Russians when the whole universe is there before us and we're busy fighting over primitive accumulation with each other. It's pointless. Let me get to the good news because I said I'd get to that, and 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 then I'll get into the economic news. There's a bunch of I've got to get to this petty corruption news. How the media always.